So first, we label our points. x1, y1, x2, y2. Then, we remember our equation for gradient, because the gradient is the first thing that we need to find. Our gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that and the points that we have, and we're going to work out the gradient. I'm going to write m equals y2, negative 3, minus 2, x2 minus x1, 4 minus negative 3. Take care with those signs. When we work them out, negative 3 minus 2, which you can use a calculator for, negative 5, 4 minus negative 3 is 7. So our gradient is negative 5 over 7. We've found the gradient. We want to be able to write an equation like this, y equals mx plus c. We've found our m, now we need to find our c. So we're going to use a point that we're given. Um, I think it would be good to use the first one. So we might use negative 3, 2. And underneath that, I'm going to write x and y. And we're going to use it in this equation with the things that we know. We know that our y, for a point that fits on the line, is 2. We know our gradient is negative 5 over 7. We know that our x, in this case, is negative 3. And we're looking still for c. So I'm going to write 2 equals negative 5 times negative 3. I've got 15 over 7 plus c. Our 15 over 7 is added, take it to the other side, subtract it. 2 minus 15 over 7 equals c. So you can use your calculator to find, or you can rename this as 14 over 7. You will find that your c is negative 1 seventh. And then finally, we write our equation. Our equation goes y equals negative 5 over 7 x, don't forget the x, minus 1 seventh.